It really helped me understand that, uh, like, I don't have any unique skills or unique talents. Uh, but what I, what I can do is work harder and put in more time than other people. So when it came to lacrosse, I picked it up in eighth grade. I was super late to the party. Um, but I would put in an unbelievable amount of hours. And like every time I was out playing wall ball or shooting around, it was like 110%. Let's get the most out of every rep possible. And I think taking that same, seeing that that was successful and I ended up getting an All-American, becoming an All-American in high school. Um, and to be a two-time All-American after picking it up like two years before that was, was pretty unique. And so once I saw that, like, if you're just willing to put in more effort than other people and you can get those reps faster. And then I think I read the book, you know, about like 10,000 hours and you become an expert. And I was like, ah, oh, this makes sense. Like, that's why I just put in way more work. So when it came to business, um, getting started early and early and often, we say all the time, it's like get started early and just do it as much as you can and just get as much experience built up as fast as you can. And you're going to be that much more competitive and that much more of a, you're going to have that much more of an advantage. So at, at what point did you actually kind of go down the, you know, full time or more scaled out business? Was this still while you're in college? Yeah. Yeah. So um, my, after my freshman year, I really decided like, I don't want to go play pro lacrosse. Um, I really want to focus on the business and the division one athletic schedule was, was pretty crazy. So there really wasn't a lot of time, uh, maybe two, three hours a day, I was able to put in to like working on the business. So I decided to transfer. Um, I ended up transferring to, to University of Tampa. And while I was down there, we, the business really started to grow. We got up to like north of uh, a million in sales and had our third or fourth employee come on full time. And it was around um, the end of my sophomore year where I went to my, to my dad and I said like, look, I know um, school was always like super important. Um, they wanted, my parents both wanted me to finish, um, but we had a conversation about it and it was basically like, you know, college is, school in general is meant um, to help you kind of find what you're passionate about. And once you find what you're passionate about and you know what you want to do with your life, you should go for it. And uh, I was going to have to make the decision to drop out of, of or to stop playing lacrosse altogether, which would have uh, potentially meant that I don't get my scholarship anymore. I didn't want to take on any student debt for going to these classes. Um, it didn't make sense to me because I, I would have these like 30 minute meetings with a mentor and I would learn more in that 30 minutes than I learned an entire semester. And it was directly applicable to what I was trying to do and the questions I was trying to get answered. So um, fortunately, uh, he was open-minded to it and um, he gave me the, the go-ahead and it was uh, game on from there.